A significant data breach at 23andMe, a genetic testing and ancestry company, is under the microscope as hackers have now exposed the information of millions. Our Jonathan Cotto with the primary target of the data breach and how the company is addressing security concerns. A data breach at 23andMe, a company known for its DNA testing services, has potentially exposed the sensitive genetic data of millions of people and the impact on the Ashkenazi Jewish community is of particular concern. The challenge with the 23andMe is that uh, the information that was taken, to my knowledge, uh, was shared with specific um, minority groups, in particular the Ashkenazi Jewish connection. The San Francisco-based company says they believe the hackers gained access to certain accounts in instances where users recycled login credentials. They say the usernames and passwords used on the 23andMe website were the same as those used on other platforms who have been previously hacked. So it's a very concerning um, breach of data, but Unfortunately, when data is shared publicly like that, there's no taking it back. Access to personal information such as date of birth, ancestry results, and geographical location raising major concerns. We've had identity theft before, but this is a whole nother level of identity theft. In a statement, 23andMe says they'll contact customers with more information if they learn data has been compromised. They are requiring all their customers to reset their passwords and use a multi-factor authentication. The Jewish Federation of San Antonio says their national organizations are working on learning more on the situation. And the challenge is always trying to figure out what was the intent and, and what was the benefit to the person who, who caused it. We're still at the stages of trying to figure that out to, to to better understand if this is a Jewish community issue or if this is a societal issue. Jonathan Cotto, Keysat 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching Keysat.